back to the channel on Pro Enzo Vids again, and this is my third video for tonight. Well, because there's so many debutants I have to get through, but um, we did the Broncos boys now up to the Melbourne Storm boys now. So obviously, yeah, the Storm won tonight, 32 points to 22 over the Broncos. The game's just finished right now. I've checked just quickly. And uh, yeah, look, the Storm have obviously won. That obviously, you know, again, locks their spot in the top four, which was locked in from last week, but now pu pushes them to third. And they'll stay third unless the Warriors um, beat the Dolphins. So we'll see what happens. Very interesting times ahead there. But um, yeah, the Storm are in third and won't get a home final, but they'll definitely be um, getting a second chance. So that, that's good to see for them and their fans. Um, but look, th this is my thoughts on the debuts of, uh, well, Sua Falongo, Jack Howarth and Joe Chan. So the Storm have three debutants tonight. And how exciting is that? I think for any Storm fan, they'll be very excited by the prospects that they saw playing tonight. And um, yeah, now they, these are guys that I had a feeling would debut this year. I, I thought maybe some of them would debut a bit earlier than the last round, but they still play an NRL game. So they'll definitely take that. And they'll definitely accept the fact they've played an NRL this year. So that's good. Um, but I'll go one by one and go through just um, from one to three and give my quick thoughts on how they went. So... Probably the best debutant of the night, Suafa Longo. So I don't know a lot about him, but I do know he's a young fullback that has played in a couple of trial, ma trial matches for the Storm um, this year and maybe last year too. But watching him tonight for the first time in a full game, wow, he's got some talent. He's got some really, really good talent about him. And um, the try that he scored, the first one, where he, you know, he had a few touches when he first came on, like not many touches, but a few first touches when he came onto the field and um, not long after he scored a try it was an incredible try it was him making a line break just busting through two Broncos defenders and trying to sidestep um, Tristan Saylor which he nearly did and then when he got on the outside of Tristan Saylor and the other winger um, he found Ryan Pappenhausen inside and then Pappenhausen was about to flick it back inside to um uh, for Longo on the right edge, but then it sort of held it up for a bit, then flicked it, then uh, Fowler Longo scored in the corner. It was a beautiful try, and I'm sure everyone's seen it by now, but that's a dream try on debut, and, and potentially could be one of the tries of the year too. I don't know, but it was a great try, and uh, that's a try on debut that, you know, is just something you, you'll never forget. So, but honestly, he played really well with Sua Falongo. A lot of people were saying that he is a, a good young talent with a lot of potential, and uh, yeah, I can definitely back that up after seeing how he played tonight. I think he's got a lot of promise. So good on him. Um, I do think he'll play a lot more games for the Storm. Uh, obviously, the Storm are full of talent, so I guess it's hard to fit everyone in there, but I think Bellamy would have liked what he saw um, tonight from uh, Sua Falongo. So congrats to him, and hopefully it's the first game and you for him in the Storm jumper. Now onto my thoughts on the day with Jack Howarth. So I will just say a little bit of a story about Jack Howarth, actually. So early last year, he signed a big contract with the Storm, like re-signed until the end of 2027, I think it was, and a really, really big money contract there. And um, yeah, obviously people were saying that, oh, he's the next star Howarth, and obviously he's got a lot of um, good things about him. The Storm have decided to re-sign him for this long, which is true. He's a great young player, and... Um, He's someone that's been really impressive for the Falcons, Sunshine Coast Falcons, in reserve grade. And I think Storm fans and fans have been wondering why it's taken so long because we've heard his name since 2021. So about time he got his opportunity, I think. But I think either way, he'll be very happy to make his NRL debut tonight. So that's the main thing in the end, I guess. And um, yeah, I made a video about him when he re-signed that big deal because I thought that, you know, it was cool to, cool to see that, that the Storm have faith in a young player like him so um yeah hopefully this debut tonight is the right step in the right direction and uh also he follows me on, on instagram too jack howell so a little shout out there um as well but yeah look he he played all right he played all right and he's a tall um forward as well which is good um but yeah he played all right um did, did a job in the middle i think he's more of a back row more than a middle but it seemed like he was in the middle tackling a lot though but uh, he played fine, I thought. He, he did a job. Um, it was a shame, though, he went off early with a HIA, so that probably does less than my talk about him for tonight. But he is a, a talent, we know that. I think many people that would know him pretty well and the way he plays is a really talented player. 
you know, barnstorming going forward. And yeah, the more game time he gets and the more faith that Bellamy puts into him, I'm, I'm sure he'll get better and better. So, um, yeah, it sucks to obviously get injured on debut, but it's even better. If, well, I mean, it's better if you win on debut too. So I guess um, the win sort of um, makes things better. But yeah, a HIA and debut, not, not coming back on is a bit disappointing. But uh, look, I'm sure Jack Howell, if we get more game time, uh, he will. The Storm will put more faith into him and work with him um, hard. And hopefully 2024 he gets more game time and maybe could uh, potentially solidify a spot in the Storm 17 somewhere. Because I think he's getting to that stage where he should be nearly there. But we'll see what happens. But uh, look, um, good debut, solid debut. Uh, not ideal with, with, with the way it ended, but did a job and that's all you can ask for. Now to my thoughts on the, on the last debutant from tonight, Joe Chan. And um, this was a late inclusion because he wasn't originally named on Tuesday the debut, but... He, this morning, I think all the, in the afternoon, he was a late in for the Storm uh, off the bench. And yeah, he's a young hooker, Joe Chen. And the Storm signed him from the Catalans Dragons, which is a club over in France. And um, yeah, he's obviously, his father played for the Storm too, Alex Chen, in the early 2000s. So, and I believe Nine was saying that it's the first time the Storm had a father and son combination, um, or both players are father-son at the club. So that's pretty cool to know. And yeah, Joe Chen, no, he played well. He's actually a, a good dummy half with a bit of speed out of his game too because I think he was rotating with Bronson Garlic and Tyron Wishart because they're all pretty similar players with the way they play and how, where they do play. But uh, yeah, look, Joe Chen, he played well. And I thought this would be someone that would debut a lot more earlier because I think back in round one, there was talk he'd debut, but it didn't end up happening. But now he's debuting, that's the main thing, you know, might have taken a while, might may have taken um, 26 weeks for him to debut, but hey, look, he's there now, so that's good to see, and uh, I'm sure his father, who, who played for the Storm, will be very proud, and obviously Bellamy would be very happy for him as well. Um, hopefully, yeah, Bellamy still persists with, persists with him uh, next year, which I'm sure he will, and um, yeah, look, um, Storm have a lot of Good options now in the, in the hooker position. A lot of depth there when Harry Grant is out. So I'm sure Joe Chen just adds to that, adds more quality to the, the Storm's depth and how good it is already. So, um, but yeah, look, he had a, a, a fair debut and, and um, hopefully the first game any for him. But everyone, that's all the debutons done for tonight. Uh, more to come this weekend though. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the debuts of Sua Falongo, Jack Howarth, and. Um, Joe Chan, thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and um, yeah, have a good night.